Today we are going to go over the Demon Hunter God DH, the final form that I have for you guys today. And we're going to give you some suggestions on how to make things a little bit different. So let's break everything down and how to play the build so you guys can just absolutely demolish speed GRs, T16s, high GRs, whatever you guys want. So first you're going to need the God DH set. As you guys all know, this didn't really get a change. Nothing's changed except for the huge power boost that it got in the six set piece to deal 27 and a half thousand percent. This was down 12 and a half thousand percent. It was very low. It didn't do enough damage, but it got a huge boost. So shout out to Blizzard for that. So you're going to need five of the six pieces. Okay, the four piece, or excuse me, the two piece is you're gonna gain four seconds of momentum when attacking with a primary skill at a duration of 20 seconds and your primary skills then deal 10% increased damage per stack. So when you're charging this sucker up, you're gonna see this little momentum meter here and that's where you get those bonuses, okay? Four piece, strafing enemies will automatically shoot your last primary skill and give you 60% damage reduction while strafing. And for five seconds after, while strafing, you gain 8% increased uh, movement for each momentum stack. So we shoot Hungering Arrow, we get our momentum stacks, and then we just speed around. And every about three to four seconds, you're gonna shoot a Hungering Arrow one more time to keep this at 20 as much as possible. And then of course, the six set piece, we got 27 and a half thousand percent increased damage. This build demolishes. Okay, I have paired this with the Guardian set. This used not to be there. This used to be, you know, not really used per se in God DH, especially last season with the powers. So now that that's gone, we have Guardian D8, or excuse me, the Guardian set on here for even more damage because we don't care so much about the two piece. We care about the three piece. You gain an additional 100% of your base strength, dex, intelligence, and vet attributes from equipped items. That's going to be on all of our stuff. We get a huge power boost from that. Next, you have to have depth diggers. This, with a couple other items, is the key part of the build. Primary skills deal 95% increased damage. The max is 100. We got a pretty good roll. Uh, next, we have our Scorch Necklace for double damage. And then we, of course, have Focus and Restraint for even more damage, guys. And then you have to have Dawn in this build and our weapons because with the reduced cooldown, I only have 52% on here. You want this to be 65, okay? I got a really bad roll. So hopefully we can find another one. Uh, but if you have max vengeance or cooldown here at 65%, you go over to cooldown reduction. If this is at least 38% with a max dawn, you have permanent uptime on vengeance. That's it. That simple. You have permanent uptime. Okay. Next, this is kind of up to you. I like the Fortress of Ballista because of the shield. Because not only are we not running Wraps of Clarity, in our queue we are not running, uh, what is it, um, Elusive Ring. So we have no extra defensive buffs. So I want Fortress Ballista to give me that shield for when I'm attacking. So that's the reason we're running this instead of, uh, what is it, Ballot's Request, which gives us permanent pierce. So those are the weapons. Those are the stuff. Our legendary gems, of course, are Bane of the Trap for more damage. Uh, Simplicity Strength to increase the damage of our primary skills because everything's coming through there. And then Taegook for even more damage and armor. Okay, so we're going to go over our stat priorities real quick. I don't have the best stat priorities, but I wanted to give you guys these while we have them. So in the helm, you want Dex, Vit, Crit Chance. In the shoulders, you're going to want Dex, All Resist, Area Damage, Cooldown. In the gloves, you want Dex, Crit, Crit, Area Damage, not Vitality. In the vest, you're going to want Dex, Vit, Armor. In the Squirts Necklace, I have a horrible Squirts Necklace, by the way. You're going to want crit damage, crit chance, and then uh, cold damage. That's what I would pick. Uh, in our bracers, you want cold skills, dex, vit, crit chance. In our belt, we want dex, vit, all resist, hungering arrow damage. Both of the rings are going to be exactly the same. These rings suck for me, but what you're going to want is damage, crit, crit on both of these. In our pants, you want dex, vit, all resist. In our boots, you want dex, vit, all resist armor. In our Fortress Ballista, you want normal damage or cold damage, and then of course Dex, uh, airy damage, and then you want cooldown on top of this. Into our Dawn, you're gonna it always is holy damage, but you want dexterity, cooldown, and then area damage. Into our Kanias Cube, guys, we have the ninth series satchel, which is another main item that you need for hungering arrows guaranteed to pierce. 
deal increased damage and then hunger arrow pierce pierces four times huge huge damage buff here hunter's wrath for primary skills attack faster and deal increased damage and then ring of royal grandeur to bring these two sets together into our skills and passives we have hungering arrow devouring arrow because we get the consecutive pierce for more damage stray thrifting shadow for more movement speed we have smoke screen special recipe to just be invincible for a second now i have tested this guys along with a uh, displacement for even more movement speed but you lose discipline so fast keep it on special recipe for the uh, discounted cost uh next we have a uh, preparation focused mind so we can gain back our discipline over time now we have vengeance here dark heart for damage reduction and more damage and then companion is your kind of your uh wild card skill there's a few things that you can take here uh you could take companion wolf companion for more damage if you really think you have issues with hatred and stuff you could take bat companion for that uh you also have the option of fan of knives bladed armor for even more armor if you still feel like you're squishy uh then you also my only other recommendation here guys is you could do shadow power shadow glide if you really wanted to or gloom totally up to you those would be the only other options i would pick for this build right now i'm doing wolf companion if i feel squishy i go back to bladed armor into our passives we have ambush for more damage coal of the week for more damage uh, we have blood vengeance to make sure that we're getting our hatred and stuff back and then we have tactical advantage for even more move speed so that is the build guys that's everything that you're going to need so we're going to go over how to play the build briefly and then go in and do a gr90 and showcase it okay so it's pretty simple all we're going to do is we're going to pop vengeance we're going to rack up our devouring arrow to get 20 stacks and then we're just going to strafe around and we're going to keep these three going as much as possible that's the build it's pretty easy you're going to hit a hungering arrow every three to four seconds so let's go demolish a gr90 we got an okay map this isn't bad and then you just decimate and again guys i don't have like the best gear even in my stat priorities which is more than fine and we're not even 800 paragon but you can see we just crush and i'm not even using the potion powers either i'm not using any potion powers we haven't even popped our potion yet Ooh, but we love the extra orbs And you guys can see how this build just absolutely crushes. I hate those stupid doors. Oh my god, one of the worst maps. Come on, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm claustrophobic, man. Did I pick the right direction? Did I pick the right direction? Yes, we did even worse even worse i hate the, this little rat's nest here doesn't do anything wait 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 there we go come here yeah yeah oh mm. just absolutely crush it in a minute 32 guys super easy let's go ahead and level up i need i need this i need to get my gem going for t16s we need the money okay we need the money okay we just need it gemstone so guys we crushed it minute 27 gr90 the build absolutely crazy again guys this is my final form for the dh build for uh, not only speeds, but as far as pushing too, you would only change a few of the passives and stuff, but that is the build. Of course, all the gems are diamonds for cooldown and just our, our, all assist. So that's the build, guys. Like the video if you guys did enjoy it and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Really do appreciate it. And as always, stay gaming, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.